we are going to be doing it's Adele's chicken meatballs. You can get this right now at Costco, going for $17.99. Not cheap. So it better be delicious. Looks delicious. A lot more expensive. So hopefully it's even better. There's three different ways: microwave, stove top. That's what it mentions. But we're also going to do it in the air fryer. If you watch Chef Dog, you know we love the air fryer. We're going to do all three and let you know what we think. That's what you get right there, folks. So you're supposed to put it in the fridge or freeze it. We put it in the freezer. So I've had it sitting out now for probably a you know, couple hours and that's what it looks like. 2.87 pounds of chicken meatballs. It, just, it says to microwave it for 50 seconds. Okay, now stovetop heat and uh, greased saucepan. Six to eight minutes or until hot. I always like to use olive oil, get that heating up. And then I'll dump some in there. And then the old air fryer. Those of you, again, that watch our show know that we love our air fryer. Usually set it to about 350. We just place them on the rack. And this cooks really, really quick at 350. By the way, we did an air fryer review the other day. And if you comment on it, you might win an air fryer. That one's right here if you wanna click on it. I'm gonna put that at 10 minutes and I'll keep my eye on it. The rest of these, I'm gonna dump in the pan here. Four meatballs is 150 calories, 70 of it fat, eight grams total of fat, carbs seven grams, and protein 14 grams. Microwave's done, I'm gonna stir these around a little, ooh, okay. Look, they're, they're, they're cooking super quick. So I'm gonna put that on a medium low. I like things a little bit, you know, more cooked than most. So that doesn't even hurt my feelings a little bit, but I'll put it on a medium low now. Well, I might as well check the air fryer. See how they're doing. Oh, they look delicious. I'll move them around as well. Okay, those have been in five minutes. Microwave stuff. Here you go. See, oh, okay. Touching them right now. 50 seconds. Not even close to enough time. Still cold. I'm gonna hit another 30 seconds and let's see. I love doing that here at Chef Dog because we'll follow instructions and a lot of times it doesn't come out the way you want it, so we improvise. Okay, so I put these in for another 30. So that means for a total of 80 seconds. That probably did it. Got those. I'm about ready to plate these as well. We've had those in there for about six, seven minutes. So I would say if you like them this, you know, cooked like that, six, seven minutes is about accurate. We'll plate some of these. And now let's check the air fryer, see how we're doing. See why I love the air fryer? Look how evenly those cook. Okay, I'm gonna plate some of those now too. Microwaved. Stove top, air fryer. Let's give them a try now. But let's try the, try the microwave one first. We'll see if the inside actually, I don't know if the insides, we'll fit, see. Hey, microwaved. Um, nothing to write home about yet. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, so mom's not liking that. Oh, wow. That's a spit out one. I mean, that's like. Wow, what was it? I don't know, it's like rotten or something. Like rotten? <laughs> I don't know, it didn't taste good. Mm. Okay, well, let's try one of those now. Ugh. We'll see. This is cooking it on the old stove. That's definitely better. I don't think I like these. No, not even, not even a little bit, huh? Oh, I like those other meatballs better. Oh, you're throwing that one off too? You can see the juice in there, you can see the spices. On that one, I definitely can taste more of the flavor as well than nuking it. Okay, air fried. So far, you're batting a zero, huh? Yeah, I, I wonder if it's the ground up chicken. I don't know, maybe you just don't like ground up chicken. I fried this, tastes a lot of light, juicy, a lot, real juicy too. Definitely don't microwave it. That's yeah, don't microwave. I'm not a fan. Um, they do not look like what's on the package. I mean, well, those look good on the package. I mean, it looks like there's like your, I don't like know. Like the sauce and the yeah, stuff like, on it? Like, where's the teriyaki? Where's the pineapple? It's almost like you dump it over the top of it. And yeah, like, where is that? No, they're juicy on the inside. I, I could taste the juice. Mm. But on the outside, they're not that, you don't have that glazed kind of yeah. mapley looking, yeah. apple-y. That makes you want to buy it. Makes you want to buy it. You, <laughs> good to have you again, people. Those of you that watch the show, that's not uncommon. I'm gonna say if you have normal taste buds, I don't mind it. Been eating a few. Uh, my feedback, I'm, you know, I was kind of in this range. I'm probably more in this range now. The aftertaste kind of has a little bit of a weird aftertaste to me. And then I was getting some gristled stuff in there that I actually was chewing on. 
that I actually had to pull out and throw, throw away. So they were grinding up some, I don't know what that stuff is, but you know when you chew on something hard and you're, and you're not expecting it and you kind of gag? I had a little bit of that. So for $17.99, would I do that ever again? Probably not. You know, again, if you like chicken and that, you probably will be okay with it, but we're just not, I'm, I'm kind of like right here with it. There's our review. Again, hey, thanks for watching Chef Dog. Remember to subscribe, all those other fun things that you guys have all been doing, liking, making comments. We enjoy those. Appreciate it. Hope you have a good uh, holiday season, which is coming up. Have a good one. Bye.